First in the spotlight tonight is Gordon Fife, a retired insurance officer from Crewe. His specialist subject, Pink Floyd. Next, John Clatworthy, a risk assessor from Chichester on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Pamela Woods is a library assistant from Kent on the novels of James Herbert. And David Greenwood, a project manager from Surrey. His subject, Theodore Roosevelt. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will each make the short but daunting walk to the black chair where they will answer two minutes of questions on their specialist subject and then two and a half minutes on general knowledge. The winner, of course, will go through to the next round and will take a step nearer to being crowned the nation's mastermind. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Gordon Fife. Your occupation? Retired insurance officer. And your chosen subject? Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd in two minutes. Here we go. What was the name of the founder member of Pink Floyd who wrote most of the songs on their first album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn? He left the group in early 1968. Sid Barrett. Yep. At which EMI studios were the group's early albums predominantly recorded? Abbey Road. Yes. At which London venue did the group play The Dark Side of the Moon in full over a four-night stand in February 1972? Earl's Court. No, Rainbow Theatre. The group's fourth UK single was the first to include David Gilmour, Barrett's replacement. What was it called? Fourth single. It would be so nice. Pink Floyd played the Live 8 concert in Hyde Park in July 2005. The set list consisted of Speak to Me, Breathe, Money, Wish You Were Here and which other song from the Wall album? Another brick in the wall. Comfortably numb. At which club run by the producer Joe Boyd in the basement of the Blarney Club on Tottenham Court Road did Pink Floyd appear regularly in 1967? UFO. Yes. What is the title of Pink Floyd's live double album recorded during the band's Division Bell tour in 94 and released the following year? Echoes. Pulse. What name did the group perform under at the Bath Festival of Blues and Progressive Rock in June 1970? The Pink Floyd Sound. The Amazing Pudding. What was the title of the event held at London's Olympia Exhibition Centre in December 1967? It was one of Sid Barrett's final stage appearances with 14 Pink Floyd. 14-hour technical dream. No, Christmas on Earth continued. Under what title did Pink Floyd release the soundtrack album to Barbe Schroeder's 1972 film La Vallée? So brisky point. Obscured by clouds. On which label, a subsidiary of EMI, were the band's UK records released from 1969 till 1983? Could you repeat the question? Please? On which label, a subsidiary of EMI, were the band's UK records released from 1969 until 83? Harvest. Yes. The instrumental piece Careful With That Axe, Eugene, was reworked for the 1970 film Zabriskie Point. What title is it given on the soundtrack? Pass. In 1987, that started, so I'll finish, the band released its 13th studio album and the first since the departure of the lyricist and bass guitarist Roger Waters two years earlier. What's it called? Moment for Lapse of Reason. Is correct. You had one pass. Um, that instrumental piece, Careful with the Axe Regime, was reworked for the 1970 film. The title given on the soundtrack was Come In Number 51, Your Time Is Up. You've scored, Gordon, five points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? John Clatworthy. And your occupation? Risk Assessor. And your chosen subject? Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, here we go. The Star Trek series Deep Space Nine is set on board a 24th century space station near the planet of Bajor. At the beginning of the first series, Benjamin Sisko is an officer on board which ill-fated starship at the Battle of Wolf 359? The USS Saratoga. Yes, what's the name of the Klingon opera that Jadzia and Worf play out in the hollow suite in the episode Looking for Par Mac in All the Wrong Places? 
Maktava. No, Carlos and Luca, traditional Bajoran religious teaching, believes that nine sacred objects were sent by the prophets from the celestial temple. What names given to those objects? The orbs. Yes. In Trials and Tribulations, Dolmer and Luxley, whose names are anagrams of Mulder and Scully, worked for what organisation? The Institute of Temporal... Um, Temporal Mechanics. No, Temporal Investigations. What is the original name of the starship Captain Sisko is given to replace the first USS Defiant in the Dogs of War? The Sao Paulo. Yes, in The Visitor, Captain Sisko's son Jake is an elderly writer who's had only two books published. Collected Stories is one. What's the title of the other? Anslem. Yes, in Rivals, what sport did Chief O'Brien and Dr Bashir play very competitively together on a new court? Racquetball. Yes, in Far Beyond the Stars, Captain Sisko hallucinates that he is a struggling black 1950s New York science fiction writer. What's the writer's name? Benny Russell. Yes, which character speaks the final line of the series when he states that the more things change, the more they stay the same? Quark. Yep. What is the name of the holographic forgery artist awaiting execution in a Klingon prison for whom Captain Sisko arranges a pardon in series six? Tolar. Yep. What was the name of the Vulcan captain who challenged Captain Sisko and his crew to a game of baseball in a hollow suite? Captain Solok. Yes. What drink does Quark make at his bar for Professor Natima Lang, his Cardassian former lover, in profit and loss? Um, a Cardassian sunrise. Samarian sunset. Which rock star plays the Vorta clone Yelgrun in the episode The Magnificent Ferengi? Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop is correct. No passes, John. You have ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Pamela Woods. Your occupation? Library assistant. And your chosen subject? The novels of James Herbert. James Herbert in two minutes. Here we go. In which James Herbert novel does the psychic investigator David Ash look into mysterious events in a small village in the Chiltern Hills? The Ghosts of Sleep. Yes. What is the name of the guardian of the evacuees at Crickley Hall who suffers from severe headaches? Thomas Algernon. Augustus Cribben. In Once, the elf who saves Tom Kindred claims to be his guardian and the keeper of Little Bracken Cottage. Which of his several names does he ask Tom to call him by? Rumba. Rigwit. A class of schoolboys are affected by the mutated mycoplasma in the fog and brutally attack and kill their teacher, Mr Osborne. What subject did he teach? History. No, P.E. In the dark, a senior police officer rings the paranormal investigator, Chris Bishop, to tell him to lock all his doors and windows and stay indoors after the prisoners and warders start a riot in Wandsworth Prison. What's the officer's name? Smith. Peck. In the rats, the operation to fight the invasion of giant rats is based in a local government building where Mr Harris is told to report every day. The building is at the town hall for which area of London? Um, Stepney. Poplar. David Ash visits a castle in Scotland to investigate its alleged haunting while working for the Psychical Research Institute in the novel Ash. What is the castle called? Comrack. Yes, in Fluke, the central character is a dog who used to be a man. As a dog, he repeatedly finds the treat hidden under one of two cups. Who bets that he'll get it wrong on his next attempt and when he's proved right, names the dog Fluke? Pass. The Israeli intelligence service asks one of its sleepers, Joseph Solomon Smith, to keep watch on Harry Stedman in the novel The Spear. What occupation does Smith use as cover? Uh, librarian. No, a jeweller. In 48, Hitler uses V2 rockets to unleash a blood death that causes blood to coagulate almost instantly and results in the death of millions, which is the only blood type that's immune. A, B, negative. Yes, David Ash says that the wild animals that attack him and Delphine at Comrade Castle are drawn there because the castle is an epicentre for something evil. What are the animals? Wild cats. They are indeed. And you had one pass, Pamela. In Fluke, the man who bet that he would get it wrong was the governor. You have four points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? David Greenwood. Your occupation? Programme manager. And your specialist subject? 
of the life and career of Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, in two minutes, here we go. Theodore Roosevelt became the youngest president in American history in 1901, where his predecessor was murdered less than a year into his second term. What was his name? William McKinley. Yes, on what date of 1884 did Roosevelt's mother and his first wife Alice die within hours of each other in the same house? The 14th of February. Yes, while Roosevelt was a rancher in Dakota during the 1880s, he received a letter that he interpreted as a challenge to a duel. What was the title of the French landowner who sent the letter? The Marquis de Morez. Yes, which reporter and author of How the Other Half Lives sometimes accompanied Roosevelt on nighttime patrols when he was police commissioner for New York? Jacob Reese. Yes, Roosevelt served as lieutenant colonel of the 1st Volunteer Cavalry Regiment during the Spanish-American War of 1898. What nickname given to the regiment was also the title of Roosevelt's post-war memoir? The Rough Riders. Yes, which educator became the first African-American to dine at the White House in October 1901? Booker T. Washington. Yes, Theodore Roosevelt's name was famously given to the teddy bear after he refused to shoot a defenceless bear during a hunting trip in 1902. In which state did the hunting trip take place? Alabama. Mississippi. In his autobiography, Roosevelt declared that of all forms of tyranny, the least attractive and the most vulgar is the tyranny of... Wealth. Yes. In 1906, Roosevelt was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to end which conflict? The Russo-Japanese War. Yes. For which weekly magazine did Roosevelt become a contributing editor after leaving office in 1909 for an annual salary of $12,000? The Outlook. Yes. What term for an investigative journalist was popularised by Roosevelt in a 1906 speech at the Gridiron Club? Muckrakers. Yes. After Roosevelt mediated a settlement to an industrial dispute, his cousin Franklin warned that his tendency to make make the executive power stronger than the Houses of Congress is bound to be a bad thing. Which industry was involved? Pass. What phrase did Roosevelt use in February 1912 to confirm that he intended to seek the Republican presidential nomination, adding, the fight is on and I am stripped to the buff? My hat is in the ring. He is correct. That's exactly what he said. Or throw my hat in the ring, some say. Uh, one pass, that um, industrial dispute was coal mining. Oh. But you did very well. You had just that one pass and you have scored 11 points. <laughs> so, that's the end of the first round. The specialist subjects, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, four points, Pamela Woods. Third place, five points, Gordon Fife. Second place, ten points, John Clatworthy. First place, 11 points, David Greenwood. So, the general knowledge round now, and if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And, by the way, the six highest scoring runners-up will also be able to claim a place in the semi-final. So, still plenty to play for. Let's get on with it and ask Pamela to join us again, please. And um, this is the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes, so time to uh, catch up. Okay. Here we go. What did King James I describe as loathsome to the eyes, hateful to the nose, harmful to the brain, dangerous to the lungs? Mm, alcohol. Tobacco. For which film did 14-year-old Jamie Bell win the Best Actor Award at the 2001 BAFTA ceremony? Billy Elliot. Yes, a 16th-century Flemish cartographer is famed for his map projection on which lines of latitude and longitude are represented by parallel lines. What was his name? Descartes. Mercator. In which Welsh city was Dylan Thomas born? He described it as an ugly, lovely town. Swansea. Yes, the top of the mountain overlooking a major African city is sometimes obscured by a layer of cloud called the tablecloth. Which city? Cape Town. Yes. Which British heavy metal rock band, whose hits include The Number of the Beast and Aces High, took their name from a medieval instrument of torture? Iron Maiden. Yes, a Peruvian photographer became internationally famous when Diana, Princess of Wales, asked him to shoot her image for a Vanity Fair cover story. Who was he? David Bailey. No, Mario Testino. Which monkey gets its name because its cap of hair resembles the cowl of an order of monks? Capuchin. Yes, which EU country produces an estimated 1,500 varieties of sausage and over 3,000 types of bread? Germany. Yep. Which composer's last major work written between 1860 and 1862 was the comic opera Beatrice et Benedict? Pass. What chiefly North American word for a fairground ride is used for the conveyor belt that delivers passengers' luggage at an air terminal? 
Carousel. Yes, Dr. George Borg Olivier was the Prime Minister of which Mediterranean country when it gained independence from Britain in 1964? Mm. Pass. Which comedian whose comedy vehicle first aired on BBC Two in 2009 promotes himself as officially the 41st best stand up comedian ever? Big Reeves. Stuart Lee, which inert gas with the atomic number 10 has a name that means new in Greek? Neon. Yes. What practice was officially abandoned by the Mormon Church in a manifesto issued in 1890 by the church's president, Wilford Woodruff, who said he had received a revelation? Mm, pass. Which tennis star who defected to America in 1975 regained her Czech citizenship in 2008 after saying she was ashamed at the policies of George W. Bush? Martina Navratilova. Yes. What disease of the liver has seven known viral forms identified by the letters A to G? Hepatitis. Yes. And the, your time is up. You had three passes. The practice officially abandoned by the Mormons was polygamy. Dr. Olivier was the Prime Minister of Malta. And Beatrice A. Benedict was written by, composed by Bellios. You have now 14 points. And now Gordon again, please. And uh, you start out with five points and you have two and a half minutes to score lots <coughs> of general knowledge questions. Here we go. In the run-up to the 1997 general election, the Labour leader described his party's policy on law and order as tough on crime and tough on the causes of crime. Who was he? Tony Blair. Yep. What was the name of the Roman governor of Judea who ordered the crucifixion of Jesus? Pass. What natural phenomenon, the largest of its kind recorded in the UK, struck near Dogger Bank in the North Sea in 1931? Pass. Who painted the 1897 work Nevermore, which shows a Tahitian girl sleeping? Pass. Methaglin, melomel and piment are varieties of what traditional alcoholic drink made by fermenting honey? Mead. Yes. Which American author who lived from 1783 to 1859 wrote a comic history of the Dutch regime in New York using the pen name Diedrich Knickerbocker? Pass. What is the name of the duo who first entered the UK album charts in 1966 with The Sounds of Silence? Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. Which highly poisonous substance obtained from the siege of the Nux Vomica plant was famously used to murder the victim in Agatha Christie's first novel, The Mysterious Affair at Stiles? No idea. Pass. What is the most northerly of the Scandinavian countries? Finland. Norway. What is the name of the estate near Lewis where John Christie built an opera house in 1934 for his wife, the soprano Audrey Mildmay? Glyndebourne. Yes. The chaparral cock, a ground cuckoo native to Mexico and the southwestern United States, is better known by what name? Pass. In which sport is a long-distance endurance race known as sportive or by the French term sportif? Pass. What animals were Flicker, star of the television series My Friend Flicker, and Mr Ed, who was able to talk? Horses. Yes. In printing, what unit of measurement equal to around a third of a millimetre is used in the UK to measure font sizes? Pass. Whose first four major films as director were all from scripts or plays by Noel Coward, starting with In Which We Serve in 1942? Pass. According to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, which kingdom was founded by Serdic and Sinric, who landed in Hampshire around 495? Pass. Which American state is the only one that borders both the Atlantic Ocean and two of the Great Lakes? Massachusetts. New York. Jeremy Paxman, Max Hastings and Niall Ferguson all presented television documentaries on the same subject in 2014. What was it? History of Britain. No, it was the First World War. Um, you had ten passes, and they are, according to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, that kingdom was Wessex. Sir David Lean was the director of those four major films. In printing, the unit of measurement is the point. That um, sport, with sportif or sportif, cycling, the chaparral cock and the ground cuckoo native to Mexico is the roadrunner by another name. Strychnine was the poisonous substance used in the Agatha Christie novel. Washington Irving was the American author who wrote a comic history of the Dutch regime. Gauguin painted Nevermore. 
An earthquake was the phenomenon that struck near Dogger Bank in 1931, and the Roman governor who ordered the crucifixion of Jesus was Pontius Pilate. You have a total of ten points. Thank you. And now, John, again, please. And uh, you start out with ten points. Well, let's see how you do with your two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. In which competition in a game against Mexico did the Frenchman Lucien Laurent score the first goal on the 13th of July 1930? The World Cup. Yep. Which British national hero was born at Burnham Thorpe in Norfolk on the 29th of September 1758? Nelson. Yes. Bruce Chatwin's work, The Song Lines, interweaves strands of autobiography into the mythology of the indigenous people of which country? Australia. Yes. Which of the seven wonders of the ancient world was created by the Greek sculpted Caris of Lindos, who lived in the 3rd century BC? The Colossus of Rhodes. Yes. The jackdaw is one of the smallest members of which family of birds? Corvid. Yes. Or crow. Dennis Brain and Barry Tuckwell were noted exponents of which brass instrument consisting of a coil tube expanding into a flared bell? Tuba. Horn, French horn. What's the largest island of Japan? It contains the country's largest mountain, Mount Fuji. Honshu. Yes. What wild plant, a member of the dock family, has acidic tasting leaves that can be eaten raw, made into soup, or cooked like spinach? They used to be known as sour dabs. Nasturtium? No, sorrel. Who played Cal Trask, the troubled son of a deeply religious farmer, in the film East of Eden? Um, Marlon Brando. James Dean. Which government minister accused left-wing academics of using the television series Blackadder Goes Forth to portray the British war effort as a shambles led by an out-of-touch elite? Um, Terry Howard. Michael Gove. Which former barrister presented the improvised comedy show Whose Line Is It Anyway? Um, that was Clive Anderson. It was. What name is shared by a mining town near Doncaster and a Hertfordshire market town close to the seat of the Earls and Marquesses of Salisbury? St Albans. Hatfield. The love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, which appeared in the magazine Poetry in 1915, was the first major publication of a well-known poet. Who was he? T.S. Eliot. Yes. Tor Heyerdahl's raft Contiki, on which he sailed across the Pacific in 1947, was made of what lightweight wood? Balsa wood. Yes. The Velka Pardubitska, held in the Czech Republic in October, is said to be the equivalent of a celebrated English horse race. Which one? Um... Royal Ascot. A grand National. What rapidly rotating neutron stars get their name from the extremely regular bursts of electromagnetic radiation they emit? Pulsars. Yes. At which ground does the final test of an Ashes series in England traditionally take place? Trentbridge. The Oval. In Greek and Roman mythology, what name was given to women who made prophecies, usually in a state of ecstatic frenzy? They were generally located at oracle sites associated with Apollo. Um... Sears. The Sibyls. Which palace on the Thames has a maze that was commissioned in about 1700 by William III? Hampton Court. Is correct. No passes, John. You have 21 points. <laughs> and finally, David again, please. And you start the round with 11 points. With your knowledge of Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, and uh, 21 is now the score to beat with your general knowledge. Here we go. In Islam, the festival known as Eid marks the end of which month of fasting? Ramadan. Yes. What's the name of the New Zealand filmmaker who directed the Lord of the Rings film trilogy and the films based on The Hobbit? Peter Jackson. Yep. Which literary hero, whose adventures were first published in 1876, lives with his good-hearted Aunt Polly in the town of St. Petersburg, Missouri? Tom Sawyer. Yes. Elizabeth Price won the 2012 Turner Prize with Woolworth's Choir 1979 using archival images, text and music. What name for this art form comes from the way it is shown? Pass. Which rock and roll star who died in an air crash in 1959 had the real first names Charles Hardin? Buddy Holly. Yes. Which North Atlantic island is an autonomous region of Portugal and has among its tourist attractions a downhill ride in a wicker toboggan? Madeira. Yep. Which author wrote the spy thrillers The Osterman Weekend, The Parsifal Mosaic and The Born Identity? Uh, Ludlam. Yes. According to a traditional rhyme, men from what English county can be identified by the names Trey, Paul and Penn? Pass. In 2011, what drink did the Russian government decide to reclassify as alcoholic? Previously, drinks of less than 10% alcohol had been categorised as food. 
Vodka. No, beer. Which rival of Mozart, born in the Venetian Republic in 1750, taught Beethoven, Schubert and Liszt, as well as writing over 40 operas? Salieri. Yes. Which Detroit rap artist published an autobiography in 2008 entitled The Way I Am? Pass. What medical condition occurs when a person's core temperature drops below that required for normal metabolism and body functions? Hypothermia. Yes. What word that has come to mean an imaginary idyllic place comes from the name of an imaginary island with a perfect legal and social political political system in a work by Sir Thomas More. Utopia. Yes, who collaborated with Ricky Gervais in writing the comedy series The Office and Extras? Pass. Which of the gospel writers is traditionally identified with the beloved physician whom Paul mentions in Colossians chapter 4? Luke. Yes, which future president of the Soviet Union married a fellow student at Moscow State University, Raisa, in 1953? Mikhail Gorbachev. Yes. What was the name of the king who abdicated the throne of Egypt in July 1952 following a coup d'etat? Farouk. Yes. Which country did the former England cricket coach Andy Flower captain at test level? He led them to their first victory at that level in 1995. Zimbabwe. Yes. Sartén, Calvi and Figari are all wine-growing regions of which Mediterranean island? Sicily. Corsica. Helen Mirren won a BAFTA, Golden Globe and an Oscar for Best Actress for her performance in the title role of which 2006 film? The Queen. He is correct. You had four passes. Uh, Stephen Merchant collaborated with uh, Ricky Gervais in The Office and Extras. Eminem was the Detroit rap artist in question. Trey, Paul and Penn, they are... Uh, Traditionally from Cornwall, those chaps. And uh, the name for that art form, using archival images, text, music and so on, is video art or installation art. You have, David, 25 points. <laughs> so, here we are. We have a clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place... 10 points, Gordon Fife, third place, 14 points, Pamela Woods, second place, 21 points, John Clatworthy, first place, 25 points, David Greenwood. Which means, of course, that David is tonight's winner and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Now, if you would like to be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.